Hey loves, Jay here with your March to April tarot predictions for Sagittarius. And if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights, which I'm hearing. Some of you are going to be revamping your space. So that could mean changing up your environment, your office space, maybe even changing up the people in your circle. <laughs> okay. But it does feel like, you know, changing colors, you know, changing colors with the season, accent colors for your home or rearranging the furniture is just to create a different energy or feng shui in the house. Whatever it is, it definitely feels like a revamp of the energy, okay? Because I feel like you're wanting to feel different or you're being you're in a creative space and you're wanting to that you wanting that to reflect in your environment as well. I'm also hearing somebody's remarrying or rekindling a relationship with someone. And um, I'm not sure what that's about, but I don't know if that's going to come up in your reading here today, but that is definitely an insight that I'm hearing. And um, the last thing I heard was, um, I can't figure it out. So huh? hopefully whatever it is that you cannot figure out, that you figure it out during this reading. Okay, <laughs> so we have the Four of Cups coming out, the Lovers, look at that already. We have the Nine of Wands, the Magician, the Madge. The Princess of Cups, Queen of Cups, and we have the Ten of Wands here. Okay, so a lot of your energy is here. Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Let's, so let's jump right into this. We're going to clarify each of these cards for you. Your overall energy is the Four of, the four of Cups. This makes me feel like a, an indulging energy for you. I'm not sure what you're indulging in, but... Um, some of you may be disconnected, or may be feeling disconnected, maybe feeling unhappy with where your life is, how it's going. Um, maybe just be contemplating a lot of things. That contemplation can also show up again as a revamp of needing to change up the energy in your space, so you change up the energy in your in your auric in your auric field. Um, but this is this is also asking what is it that you are longing for I'm also feeling like a boredom coming up and like you know you asking yourself like what am I doing like what, what am I doing where is my life going who am I doing this with or why am I investing time and energy into something that just feels boring feels stagnant at this point um it feels I'm looking at the I'm looking at how the the milk is spilled. There's a lot. I feel like you poured your emotions into something and maybe someone hasn't reciprocated. Could be multiple things. Okay, that could be coming up for you. So let's let's clarify this. What why is the four of cups here for Sagittarius overall energy? We have the star, Aquarius energy here, the sun, Leo, and the fool. Wow, three major arcanas. We don't start out like that. Okay, I see you, Sagittarius. Okay, there's a lot that is definitely transpiring in your life. I'm also feeling like this is a renewal phase for you, which is why you're revamping. Um, you're changing up some things to make yourself feel better and to... Um, I'm hearing open up this, um, I don't know, open up a new line of communication. And that could be with your spirit guide and angels, with yourself, your inner self, your inner child. But I, I, I'm, I'm definitely feeling like a renewal energy where you are going to be giving more to yourself or pouring out more of you into something, whether that is in a career or into a relationship here. I feel like you want to be the star of the show and you know that you're the star of the show. I'm also hearing I deserve more. I deserve more. Okay. And speaking of inner child, we have the sun energy here. That sun is is connecting to your inner child there. But it is also an energy of hope. So I'm, I feel like you're hoping for a change. Some of you are hoping to have children, start a family. Some of you are hoping to have to, for your children to have happiness. 
but I definitely feel like you are really working on yourself during this time. You are investing in you. You are taking a leap of faith into something. This could be in a relationship or in a career, but I feel like you're trusting, like I'm going to go out on a limb and try something new or start something new with someone. And I, I definitely feel, I'm feeling like you guys have been getting the nudge. So this definitely feels like a new journey that you're embarking upon. And some of you have already been in the place of contemplating what your next step would be or contemplating how you should move. And I do feel like this is going to be an opportunity for you to take action now because you're really focused on yourself, your inner peace, your inner happiness, your desires, the passion for life. Um, you want that wholeheartedly here, Sagittarius. And so you're going to do whatever you can to attain that and maintain it. Okay, so this is a new start to something that you have been thinking about for a while now. Some of you have been thinking about it for the past four weeks, four months, maybe the past four years about what you want to, what you want to start to, um, to make life better for you. Okay, so I, I like that energy because you're focusing on you and I'm always a big fan of focusing on yourself and growing and expanding and all of those beautiful things to get you to a level of inner happiness and inner peace where you're not relying on someone else to create happiness or peace or whatever for you that you're doing it on your own okay so things are definitely changing in your favor because you are focusing on yourself and you're taking a leap into something because you're trusting the process you're trusting that this is the right step the right move for you and so you're going for it okay so that's the overall energy that's coming up for you an obstacle is the lover's card. So this is possibly having to make a choice about someone or, um, well, there's really no or <laughs> because this is an obstacle that you're going to have to make. Uh, I mean, this is an obstacle that you're going to, or a choice that you're going to have to make about a connection that you may have with someone. Okay. What choice? Yeah, I feel like you're definitely choosing you, but you, this, this lover's card is someone that you have a strong connection with. That's for sure. Um, but you're going to have to, what's challenging is making a decision about something. Let's see what's coming up. Why is the levers here? It feels like a soulmate. Could be a karmic soul tie that you have with someone. There's some sort of intertwining that. It's like um, there's a it's a lot of fiery energy, and that fiery could be a lot of passion, a lot of um, love between the two of you, and then there's also a lot of heat intensity between the two of you as well. Okay, so we have the seven of swords, the five of swords, and the king of pentacles. So someone is being sneaky or in conflict about something. This king of pentacles, I do feel like maybe this is someone who may have some sort of authority over you in a way who's um i'm feeling a manipulative energy coming from this king of pentacles like someone may use what they do for you to keep you around oh i do this for you say so they, they may manipulate you in some sort of way because of what they provide for you because the king of pentacles is definitely a provider but i definitely feel like there is there they're strategic in a way with the Seven of Swords. They're st strategic in how they approach you, how they handle you. They, um, The lovers is definitely letting me know that it's a karmic soul tie. So this person has, has known you. This, this could be past life energy that you share with this person and you are still playing out the lessons in this lifetime as well. But this Five of Swords is definitely some conflict that is coming up for you when it comes to you and this person, okay? definitely feels like it's based around a relationship but I do feel overall that you are taking care of yourself you come into you've come to this place where you're like I'm going to do me I'm going to take care of myself I can't be manipulated anymore because that's what that feels like and I'm sorry king of pentacles okay but that's the energy I'm getting from you right now is you're manipulating <laughs> this Sagittarius inner person okay 
So that's what I'm feeling. Um, you turning your back or they turn them turning your their back on you, but it just feels like a constant battle. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of words exchanged often and it's just I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like they leave you confused, okay? They leave you confused in a way because there's something that you need or want from them. And I feel like they use that to their advantage because they know that that keeps you around, okay? We have the Nine of Wands is where you're headed. Um, and this, this is like you're tired, <laughs> You're tired of being resilient. You're tired of being tested. You're tired of being um, not a priority. You're tired of being the wounded warrior. I just feel a tired energy. Like you have put in, you have a lot of grit, Sagittarius, and you you have never given up. You've always had fight in you. And, but it feels like it's a continuous um, battle that you lose often. Okay, some of you, this could be the past nine weeks, months, years, but it definitely feels like an ending because the nine is here and it definitely feels like you're going to be just letting this go. That's what's, that's what's, um, oh shoot, um, oh, okay, this goes here. Definitely feels like you're going to be um, headed towards walking away from something. Okay, um, I'm going to pull some, I'm going to pull some cards around that. And I'm, and I'm looking at that, too. I feel like some of you, I'm looking at the mailman. So it makes me feel like someone may, you may receive a message or someone may send you a message or you may, there's something that you get that is, I mean, the evidence that you need. I mean, it's in plain writing is what I'm seeing. It's in plain writing. So it's like you get something where you're just kind of like, oh, okay, okay. All right, now I know how to move. Now I know how to move, okay? That's what I'm feeling with that. There's something, a, a message or something that is coming in for you that's going to help you determine your next step. Two of Swords. Remember, I just said the Two of Swords. They got you stuck. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, which is your energy here, as well as, two, uh, oh no, just the Two of Wands. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Yeah, someone has got you blinded possibly by their love or what they provide for you. I feel like, <laughs> uh, first off, I'm getting like a little lump on the right side of my throat, like where I feel like you guys, uh, you may be trying to find ways to articulate how you feel. You're trying to let someone off easy, easily. You're trying to convey an emotion that you're feeling. Um, it definitely needs to be cleared out. It definitely needs to be said. Your truth needs to be spoken. I feel like you are holding on to something. You're holding on to this person for whatever they have done in the past. And they are definitely leaving you in this position of stagnation. Where you're like, I, I feel... I feel blocked. I feel confused without them around in my life. Like, I don't know what to do, what decision to make. I can't progress with the relationship, but I know I need to make a decision to step away. But there's something that keeps tying you back to this person. So this is all about choices. You're going to have to make that decision that is coming up. And it feels like a very difficult decision because you are stuck, but you're really not stuck. Um, I feel like that is definitely an illusion, but I feel like for some of you, it has been a little, it's been rocky. It's been a little messy. Okay. There's been a lot of fears that have come up. There's been some times of withdrawal. There's been a lot of turbulence in this. And uh, again, there's, it's a relationship. So there's going to be ups and downs. I get that 100%. Um, but it definitely feels like a back and forth that you have with this person and it, you're definitely holding on. Eight of Swords. I mean, <laughs> Sagittarius. Oh, my gosh. But eight and two is ten, um, which is a confusion, a backstabbing, betrayal kind of energy that you're feeling, but you're holding on to something. Oh, let, me, let me get some more energy from this Queen of Wands. 
um, what is it that Sagittarius is holding on to? And it's like you're trying to hold on to the love. You're trying to hold on to the person. You're trying to hold on to the good times that you share with someone. <sighs> you're trying to nurture it in some way, but you know exactly what you need to do. But I don't feel like you're taking the stand. There is always, it feels like there's always an excuse for this person. You're making excuses for them and you're making excuses for why they do the things that they do. But it definitely feels like it's time for you to move on, to find time for you to take the blindfold down and, and walk away from this, okay? Um, I do feel like this is an energy where you it's like you pull away and then there's they bring in more communication to sort of reel you back in, in a way. You know, it feels very manipulative. That's what it feels like here. What's coming towards you is the Madge. And this is the Magician in the traditional tarot. Um, this is um, an energy of you trying to improve, empower yourself and manifest, you know, be resourceful in manifesting what you need for your life because again I feel like whoever this person is they provide they may provide something to you I'm not saying that you can't provide it yourself you like the fact that they provide for you in this way and so part of that is what's keeping you around because you like to rely on possibly rely on this person to inspire you and you they feel you feel empowered because they feel empowered because they're taking care of you I don't know like it feels very confusing because we have a lot of swords energy here where it's a lot of thoughts that are going on in your mind and a lot of confusion as well um, but this is saying like you're going to have to focus on a goal and if your goal is to remove yourself from this situation that doesn't align with you anymore that is going to have you're going to have to take the necessary steps in order to reach that goal. So this is all about you empowering, okay? Um, because someone definitely knows how to manipulate and control you in some sort of way to keep you around, and um, it doesn't seem like it's that healthy. I mean, there's a like I said, there's a lot of passion. There's a there's a strong connection between the two of you, and it feels like it's a continuous cycle of something. Why is the match here? And someone, uh, for some of you, part of you, part of you finding pieces of yourself and stepping into the star energy of healing, like some of you are going to have to tap into uh, artistry, music, writing, um, painting for some of you. But I definitely feel like whatever it is that you want to manifest can definitely come to fruition sooner than later. But you have to just make up your mind on what it is that you want to do. Because right now I do feel like you are fearing something. You're fearing leaving. You're, fe you're wanting to rekindle things. And some of you are going to rekindle this. This is what I was wanting your spirit insights, spiritual insights at the beginning is that you're, you may be rekindling um, a relationship but again I still feel like you can't there's something that you can't figure out in this like why do you stay <laughs> why, why okay so the Emperor five of Pentacles and the lovers is coming out again so we have the Emperor and the lovers I definitely this is this is definitely clarifying like I said someone that has power over you and they know they know how to use the power in a way that is very subtle where you may not feel or see that it may be manipulative or controlling. But that power that they have over you is extremely strong. Okay. Five of Pentacles in the center of this. Hmm. This is an energy of, of whether it's your person or you, like leaving leaving this behind like deciding to create something else i mean this is clarifying the magician here and the magician is the number one and we already have the full so this is a new opportunity for something it's is it a new opportunity for you to rekindle you can if you want to it's your story i'm just the messenger here um and that's those are the messages i'm giving and you may be rekindling something and some of you may just be completely walking away from walking away from the manipulation and the control so I feel like that's what's coming towards you is you 
um, creating an outlet for yourself to be able to move on from something that doesn't feel comfortable or right in your spirit anymore, okay? And there may be an opportunity for the universe to bring that love closer together where you can create a, a, a stronger bond where you're not in this position of being manipulated. Like there, there has to be a 180, <laughs> between the two of you or one of you there has to be a 180 in order for this to work what's happening in your near future we have the princess of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy here this makes me feel like an uh, energy of um, creating and i'm also feeling like you like parts of the part of the reason why you love this person is because they bring a level of happiness and joy into your life that's what it feels like. They're always creating something new where you feel like um, you're recreating your love, but then there's still that fallback of manipulation that keeps coming up. I'm going to clarify this Princess of Cups. Um, I'm also hearing some of you are getting intuition, intuitive hits. Maybe they're showing up in your dreams as well to give you, give you some clear direction. Nine of Wands is coming out again. Seven of Pentacles and then the Two of Cups. So a lot of watery energy here too. That Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So you're dealing with a water and earth sign. Um, but we don't, you don't have to get fixated on the signs. It could be anyone, but that's the energy that is coming up. Um, so what's happening in your near future is another test, <laughs> another test of your faith, another test of your strength in this relationship. Cause I feel like you guys have put a lot of time and energy into this. And some of you are not wanting to just walk away just yet. I feel like again, remarrying, rekindling something um, with this person because there is a lot of love between the two of you with that two of cups energy like it's like the love is undeniable but it's like <laughs> I'm looking at the nine of wands here and he's like he's sticking his chest out because it's like I always have to be strong to get through whatever this is that we have built together like I'm always having to be resilient that nine of wands is your energy your resiliency is amazing um, but um, is it is it exhausting for you okay because the nine of wands is also a, a an energy of a card of exhaustion but is it is it too much now are you are you going to decide to turn your back on something that you have put in so much time and energy into you have grown it but you're in a place where you're just like is this enough for me okay so that's coming up for you in your near future of questioning that and some of you are actually taking the action on that queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio is your advice so some of you may be needing to seek counseling individually couples counseling that could be coming up for you as well i feel like you need to share your story is what i hear because you have a lot of emotions built up you're trying to figure things out on your own and i feel like you keep confusing yourself because you're going in this circle of emotions and you end up going back to the initial feeling of but i can't leave because there's so much love there's so much history whatever this is why is the Queen of Cups here? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? We have the Hangman came out reversed. The Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like Spirit is saying, hey Sagittarius, do me, do me, a, do me a favor, okay? <laughs> Don't resist what you're feeling. Okay, there's there's no need to there's no need to sacrifice when you don't feel 100% appreciated, loved, whatever this is, you're being manipulated, whatever this is, you don't have to sacrifice anymore is what I'm hearing. That queen of swords in the center of that is like you need to set some clear boundaries with this person whoever this is you need to be very clear you also need to you also need counseling i'm feeling too because so that you can get an um, an unbiased judgment on your relationship <laughs> 
Okay, and, and some of you are needing to have direct communication with your person in talking about what it is your need that you need in order to thrive in this relationship because it feels very complex. I just feel like you need to have a clear mind going into this. Um, you definitely need to talk to someone, someone who is experienced and knowledgeable in the field of relationships and traumas and all manipulation, all of those things. Narcissism, because <laughs> that is also coming up as well. Um, but I do feel like you're getting to a place where you have no patience for ignorance. You have no patience for um, manipulation and fighting and all of these things. I'm hearing I'm going to take a detour. So some of you may decide that you want to rekindle. Some of you may decide that you're not going to rekindle. And then some of you may decide I'm going to rekindle and then retract that. <laughs> okay? Because the Eight of Cups is here and energy of walking away. But this energy is could be your person walking away from you. Okay? So there's a lot of emotions that are going on here. And um, it feels rather heavy. Um, because I know there's a lot to be said, but there is um, there is some disappointment that may be coming up for you. There may be even some abandonment, abandonment. You know, you withdrawing or your person withdrawing from you, and you know, in this, you know, packing packing your bags and moving on. I, I feel like there is a hope of rekindle here, but I definitely feel because the hangman reversed and what we've said initially. Like, you don't have to sacrifice anything anymore, okay? It's, that's your advice. There's You don't need to sacrifice, okay? Your final outcome is the Ten of Wands. Over, okay? <laughs> it's an energy of it just things coming to a completion because it's too heavy. It's hard. It's stressful. Um... You feel oppressed. You feel trapped. Um, you're just carrying too much on your shoulders and you're feeling weighed down and unable to cope with the pressures that you have experienced because the challenge, the challenges of pushing past are uh, you are feeling limited at this point. OK, and it's like a it's like a, I'm feeling like you're coming to a place where you're like no pain, no gain. <laughs> OK, and no gain, no pain, whatever. But I definitely feel like you're, um, you've taken on too many burdens that were unnecessary for you. And I feel like it has stunted, it has stunted your spiritual growth is what Spirit is saying. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Final outcome for Sagittarius. The Chariot, the King of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Okay, it's your final outcome. You are definitely going to be moving on from this manipulation control. That King of Swords is coming out again. I think it came out before. I can't remember, but I think oh, we talked about the King of Pentacles and that, that controlling, that manipulative energy king of swords i'm all, i'm feeling like this person like i gotta have it my way or no other way and i feel like that's what you had given this person and i feel like you're no longer in this energy anymore where you're you you don't want to be oppressed you don't want to carry all this weight on you anymore six of cups a lot of memories will come up for you memories of nostalgia memories of trauma of fear but I feel like you are um, really searching for answers as to why you may be living out these patterns of um, being in, in unhealthy situations, but loving so hard through it. Although relationships are challenging, this, this feels a little bit beyond the norm. The Six of Cups is here. This is energy from the past. And we've already pulled the lovers twice. We've pulled the two of cups. That definitely lets me know you're dealing with someone that you have history with, a connection with. You may even have a karmic tie to. Um, but I, I definitely feel it is um, you will be, some of you will be moving on. Okay. And this is not to say 
I'm not telling you to walk away from your relationship. But what Spirit is saying is that some of you are going to decide to do that because you're just kind of over it. You're packing your bags and moving on. That's what that feels like here as your final outcome. Um, I'm going to pull one universal message for you. See what comes up. What does the universe have to say to Sagittarius? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So however that's going to show up for you, just keep this whole process simple. Don't put too much pressure on it. And use your mind and your heart together. Let them work in accordance. Okay? But what's going to be the best decision for you? All right, that is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like, share, comment below if this resonates with you. Enjoy the rest of your month. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.